Okay, let us now take another sutram which prescribes this aphis ghinan. Actually, this is the last sutram in this uh, section of ghinan which runs from 3 to 141 down to 3 to 145. This is the last sutram in that section. This sutram says, Pre lapa sr dru matha vada vasaha. Also, a very simple sutram. All this sutram says is that pra upapade means pre upapade lapadi bhyo ghinan syat chila adi shukartrashu. Of course, we are in the dhikara of the chila, the dharma, the sadhuka So, the meaning becomes that the aphis ghinan may be used. To denote an agent who performs an action because of his nature or habit or his sense of duty or family tradition or he is skilled at it or he is good at it. Following any one of the verbal rules listed in the sutram, there are six of them which are lapa vyaktayam vachi sr gatau dru gatau matha which is mathe vilodane vada which is vada vyaktayam vachi and vasa which is vasa nivase vasa nivase following any one of these six verbal roots the aphis ghinan may be used but there is one more condition here which is that the verbal root must be used in conjunction with the upasargaha para so, this sutram says that the aphis ghanan may be used following one of the six verbal roots as long as there is the upasarga pra in conjunction with the verbal root. So, we get the following six forms. Pralapi, prasari, pradravi, pramathi, pravadi and finally pravasi. These are the forms in Kunlinge Prathama Ekavachanam. So, for example, the form Pravasi, the word Pravasi is quite well known. Pravasi is one who's traveling, one who's gone abroad, one who's gone away from his native place is Pravasi. So these, so these forms are used in the language. That's why we're taking the Sutram. And actually, another reason for taking the Sutram is because this form Pramathi comes in the Bhagavad Gita. It comes in verse number 34 in chapter 6. It says, Chanchalam Himana Krishna Pramathi. Verse number 34 in chapter 6. So, this word pramati is used there. The pramati is qualifying mana. Mana has a pramati here is napum sakalinge prathama ek vachanam. So, pramathnati tachilam is pramati. So, one is nature. His nature is to torment, to agitate. So that is because matha is to like to churn. So, to torment or to agitate is this. Pramathi. Now, the derivation is quite straightforward. Para plus mat plus ghinan because ghinan is to be used when this verbal root is in composition with the prefix para. So, we now remove these letters by upade she januna sikait ukarasit sanya halantyam nakarasit sanya and nashakvat dite ghakarasit sanya then tasya lopaha so we get para mat in. Then we apply ato upadhaya ha to do the vridhyadesha in place of the akara penultimate akaraha in math so we get pramathin which now gets the pradipadika sanya by krit taddita samasascha because of course ghinan has the krit sanya by krithating krithating now the voksha is here napun sakalinge prathama ekvacharam because it's qualifying manaha all these are adjectives we have to see who or what it is qualifying it's qualifying manaha here so we get pramathin plus su by 412 so just some out etc and now we use samo napum sakat swamo napum sakat so this affix su takes the look elision and that prevents that prevents saucha from applying saucha because saucha the dirgha desha upada dirgha would have been done by saucha but nalumata angasya 1163 says that when we do a look shlu or look elision then that pratyeha cannot be cannot cause any angakaryam so this saucha requires this affix su to follow but the su has taken the look elision here so saucha saucha is stopped by nalumata angasya and na pramathin gets the padasanya by supting and the padam with the help of pratyaya lope pratyaya lakshanam and then we can apply na lope of pradipadika antasya remove the ending nakara of the pradipadikam which is also the at the end of a padam so we get the form pramathi so this is the sutram straightforward sutram but these forms are used in the language so, we should know this Sutram 32145, which prescribes the Apis Ganan following one of the six verbal roots when in composition with the Upasargaha Pra.